Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the best selling travel trailers that is one of the best floor plants and at an amazing price point. This is a 2022 Forest River Aurora model 32 BDS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Aurora and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Towables. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and unbiased review about everything when it comes to travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at a super popular family floor plan, the Aurora. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? It's going good. We're here in Charlotte, North Carolina. We're again. back. We're, We're back. back. Yes. Um, so this store is super awesome. It's a great meeting point for Matt and I. Um, all ever the whole team here is just so nice. It's a great location. So we love coming here. We're gonna be here a lot, I think. And their phone number is 704-743-5280. Big shout out to RV1 of Charlotte for letting us come back here today. And I'm um, just super excited to show everybody. Yes. We have a link to their website down below as well. Well, let's begin. Okay. Model is 32 BDS. The actual tip to tip length of the travel trailer is about 35 feet long. The dry weight is 7,775 pounds. And we don't know the exact hitch weight, but we're gonna have all the specs about this travel trailer from Forest River's website. This is the Forest River Aurora. It is their entry level travel trailer. Power tongue jack here. Propane goes there and your batteries go there. Now, even though this is entry level, it's still one of the higher end entry levels. It looks really great. I like the name Aurora. And when we call this entry level, here's what we mean, Will. We mean aluminum corrugated siding with wood framing. It's not the fiberglass sides with the aluminum framing. This makes it so you're gonna get the most bang for your buck. Oh, and we didn't even mention, new camera today, guys. We just got yeah. the new GoPro 10 with the uh, Hyper Smooth 4.0. So let us know if you guys like it. Hopefully you like it. Yeah. Right here, we do got nice pass-through storage there. Okay. Manual stabilizing jacks. Final announcement. It was great meeting everybody at the Hershey RV show. Thank you. We, yes. We're just now getting back from Hershey. You don't know this. You're going to see this a month from now, but we appreciate everybody. Yeah, for sure. And then check out this power awning with LED lights, Will. I love the red lights. Now, it does come with the remote uh, from carefree so it's going to be multi-color cool it's very very nice and then look at these lipper component solid steps i love the solid steps this is a door leading up to the main living room with a handle you got your jpl sound solar package and everything and then check this out tv power water heater right there look at these tires will they're the high specs oracles <laughs> 225-75R15, Dexter Axles. You can hear my voice, it's a little Oops. raspy from the show. Right. Everybody wanted me to go burr, 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 burr. And you know, we're, we're a little rusty, but, but right. we'll get it by the second or third video. Right over here's our potable water fill. Potable. potable. And your black tank flush. And then another second door. This one leads to the full bathroom back here, which cool. is very nice. And then check this out. Oh, this is weird. So I hate these twisty locks. Right. But they did this one. Huh. Which I like. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Very man. nice. Big, huge outside kitchen. You have a really nice size refrigerator right here. Okay. Little drawers. Okay. Kind of cheapish. There's no um rollers yeah. or whatever. It is what it is. Price point. Nice storage. Good countertop, nice little sink here that's plumbed through. An elite skillet grill top burner. And then you ready for this, Will? Yeah. Psh, America. God, I love it. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky stinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. It is prepped for the Furion backup camera. I love that. Finishing up, outdoor shower. 50 amp power cord city water connection. Look, that's where you're dumping your black and gray. Not too bad. Not too bad, not too good, not right. too bad. 
right here's your cable and satellite. And then here's the other side of that storage. Cool. Well, Will, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. I just saw me skip it. Did he? <laughs> Okay, here we go. Starting up front, got the bedroom up here, TV or living area right here, nice U shaped dinette, kitchen. Coming towards the back is that bathroom, and all the way in the back is a nice bunk room. Okay, starting off here in the bedroom. A little bit of a tighter bedroom, a little bit of a smaller bedroom. Right. Quite frankly, a little bit of a darker bedroom. But again, this isn't about the master bedroom. This is more about that bunk room. Right. You have nice storage right there. Show that storage over there, bro. Okay. A little closet space here, and yes. it is going to be the same on the other side. Yes. And then we do got storage right there and right here. A little power and USB. And then storage <laughs> underneath the bed. Okay. <clears throat> Coming on out, I do like the fact that there is a door to the bedroom. Right. Okay, and then we do have the TV entertainment center. Love the fact that it's coming with the TV. A lot of times when you look at the Jayco's or the Forest Rivers and stuff, at this 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 level, they won't right, come with the TV. Right. So it does come with the TV, which is nice. Also a fireplace, which does produce heat from electricity. Speaking of heat, well, it's that time of year. Yeah. Sweater season. It sure is. Especially up north here. North Kakalaki. We got radio. We got little storage underneath there. And everything. And then over here, Will, is your sofa. <clears throat> this is the jackknife sofa. You're sitting right here. You got That's your little cool. cup holder there. Yep, it jackknifes to make the bed. No storage above, but you do have the nice big windows. Again, pros and pros and cons this right. unit's all about the bunkhouse it's all about sleeping a lot of people so there's stuff that you have to do i do like the big windows because it makes it feel lighter in here brighter in here unlike the bedroom area so question this doesn't have the versa lounge did they stop that first or lounge was in wildwood salem so aurora did not have the versa lounge. correct okay. correct just some brand identity from forest river but if you ask me i much prefer a u-shaped dinette okay we love the u-shaped mm -hmm. dinettes u-shaped sure dinettes are great <clears throat> i love the fact that you got storage underneath both <clears throat> sides of the dinette yes very nice good size and then especially for a bunkhouse you need to have a dinette that can actually sit people and right. see people constantly. it's so true and then also it does drop down to make a bed well well do you know what time it is it's now time for the MSRP. Oh, gosh. What was that? There we go. That was the results from the Hershey show. Uh-oh, my light's going out. MSRP on this unit here is $48,901, Will. MSRP. Okay. Sale price, as you everybody knows, there's no sale prices on 2020s right now. There is sale prices, just not internet advertised sale prices. But again, we we've we've been partnering with RV1 for a month or two now, and you know building that relationship, and they've seen such a good result from you guys that they set up a special website down below. Click that link. That's gonna send a contact form, and somebody from RV1 in their nationwide in their nationwide network is going to contact you and get you uh the map price on it yes and then um and then if you do live in the north carolina area make sure you just call the north carolina store and they're going to take course, amazing care yeah. of you will let's continue the video all right all right so we'll start over here in the kitchen you got some nice storage up top yes sir you have a window here that does open and it is on your campsite so that's really nice yep a faucet Oops, sorry, Will. Oh, you're fine. A little bit of storage there. A faucet with a little spray thing. And then a uh, oh, single bowl sink with two inserts. I like that they did that. Man, you're breaking, like you're, you're jacking it. it up, Will. All right. Um, they are not solid surface countertops. Again, that's a price point weight thing. A couple of drawers here. And some storage underneath the sink right there. Yes, sir. Over here, you got a high point microwave, just a regular one. Okay. 
<clears throat> you do have a nice range hood here. Hood range. Three burner graystone cooktop here. Very nice. That's blue lights and an oven. And then you do have a nice, I love that they're doing a compressor fridge. GE compressor this. fridge. It runs off the battery, mm -hmm. folks. Exactly. And it cools very quick. Over here, I guess this is part of the kitchen. You do have a nice, like, pantry. Call it multi purpose space. Yeah. You know, whatever you need. You need it bathroom for. stuff, if kids clothes, whatever it is. It's now time for the tall test. All right. Let's see. That's all right. That's all right. Let's I think see. We might be okay. Well, we actually it's, are. it's because they did the, uh, the stand up shower and the, yeah. and the skylight. A lot of times in these units, they'll put the stupid bathtub. Right. So right. does that get it? It sure does. Bing! That's a shower test seal of approval. That's right. And then right over here, you know what? Well, what? I should have shaved today. <laughs> you know, the owner of RV1's here today, and I really should have shaved. Is he? Yeah. No, like for real. Oh, no. No, like, like we're talking right now. Like, we might want to leave so I can get shaved up. All <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, here we do have the uh, sink. Okay. And that. Uh, I mean, it's not our fault. I haven't been home in, in nine days, 10 right. days. You know what I'm saying? Come on, I haven't shaved in nine days. You know, this. I just get peach fuzz everywhere. Oh, well, you got your shower test. That's yeah. good. Because this is not a prime poop position and it's a plastic toilet. Oh, man. And it just doesn't make any sense it's in the world. It's weird. Me. Like that whole. Yep, it's very weird. Disappointment. Womp womp. Womp womp. Okay, going to the but bunk again, room. You're not buying this for the prime poop position. You're right. buying this for this bunk room. That's oh, right. you know what they did? They did the wardrobe. I'd rather not have the wardrobe. Right. You know, I get the wardrobe, but I get it, yeah. And trust me, more people probably would have the wardrobe. Because again, it's not that big of a deal. But right. so uh you do have two AC units. Okay. Nice top bunk entertainment center. Storage right there. Storage, storage. Nice little ladder. Yeah. Okay. And then right over here, Will, we do have the bunk. I love how the bunk does the flip up. Right. Okay. And then these are called like the J cubes or whatever, the, the whatever you want to call them, which is very nice. And then these comes out to make a really nice size bed. And it is just very nice. Right. And overall, just a great travel trailer. And Will, as great as it is and as nice as it is, that's the review. Okay. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we just dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we love? Yes. All right. Okay. First thing I love, it's going to sound silly. I love this cube setup. Right. A lot of times they'll do the little dinette, which sucks. A lot right. of times they'll do a jackknife sofa, which sucks. This, this is perfect. Cube, it's going to come out and fill up this whole area. Kids are going to like it. Kids are going to prop their head up that way, watch the make TV. Make forts out of it. Make forts out of it. You know what I'm saying? And that's sleep right. on the ground. And they're kids, and that's what they should be doing. That's right. Having fun camping, sleeping on the ground. Mm. That is the first thing I really do like about this trailer. Will, number two? Mine's outside. Where's, is your third inside? Um, Yeah. You wanna, yeah, you... I'll do number two. Okay. Number two, Will, we got to give it to the U-shaped dinette. Absolutely. We love U-shaped dinettes. I'm going to combo that. I love the U-shaped dinettes. They're oversized, big and nice. Right. And I am going to say this oversized stand-up shower. Yeah, that shower Again, is nice. so many times in this style of unit, they will put the shower tub. Absolutely. So I really like how they made it the shower. Right. So that's number two. And then number three, my sir. Of course, we had to go to this outside kitchen. Yes. This outside kitchen, they nailed it with this. They really, really did. Nice big uh, fridge, plumped through sink, and riddle is it just pulled oh. uh it's jammed in there oh, i can see okay. that it's a little crooked uh but yeah that griddle is awesome and yeah i love it what else is nice about the Southside kitchen Psh, america hell yeah and then i'm gonna combo that with the colorful awning yeah i just like the colorful awnings okay so that's three things we love about it now it's time for three things we dislike about this travel trailer okay okay um i'm gonna go first dislikes okay 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 i got it. first dislike we talked about it a little bit in the bunk room i don't like that pantry space there because right. it gave you that this wall so there weird in here 
Again, practical, yes. To most people, the storage is probably more important than when they're pooping, you know what I'm saying, honestly. Right, right. Um, so, you know, like, you need storage 24-7. You only poop once a day. Yeah. You know it's, what I'm saying? So true. there is pros and cons. I just don't like that, though. Yeah. That is dislike number one. Will, dislike number two? That was mine, and I only had one. I can go again. Okay. Dislike number two is going to be the sofa placement to the TV. Yeah. I Oops, hate... I still got a point. What oh. did I do? Sorry. <laughs> it's the new GoPro 10. <laughs> Dislike number two is the sofa placement to the TV. Yeah. I don't like that. I never have liked that. I never will like that. I want to look head on at the TV. Again, it's not that big of a deal. And um, and it's okay. Okay, I think I have one. Oh, Let you got check. another dislike? I might. Hold on. Um... No. Nope. I mean, this bedroom's a little bit tight. Here's what I'm like, gonna say. Here's what I'm gonna say. Yeah. The darkness in the bedroom. That's true. That's not good enough. You ready for this? Yeah. Oh, I don't like yeah. that. One, I don't like how they're black. They should be tan. Two, I don't like these shades. They should be the slow rollers. Right. Three, I know Andrea hates this. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then if we want to add a combo, just the carpet. Right, of course, it's all, always the carpet. Always the carpet. And then I do want to add one more like. You okay. know why, Will? Because America. America, that's why. Because I did want to give them props on this. The fact that they actually have a sliding pocket door for yeah. the kids' bedroom is a really nice feature and touch. That really is, yeah. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. That's the Aurora. Thank you, absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And thank you, RV1 of Charlotte, North Carolina. For hosting us today again we we want to make sure that we get everybody the best price in america so we set up a contact form with rv1 if you see an rv that you like fill out that form down below or send us an email and we'll get you with the right people to make sure that they get you the right price if you call them yourselves make sure you tell me so on matt's rv reviews but the best thing to do is to use our form so they know that you're a, a viewer of the show and they're going to take amazing care of you right well is there anything you want to say of course yeah, guys, I think this is a great travel trailer for families. This is one of my favorite floor plans uh, when it comes to bunkhouse travel trailers. So yes. Hopefully a lot of you like it. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know the three things you like and the three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. Yes. And we'll, we'll see you next time.